Hey, welcome to Blasted Science. We just built and launched a bunch of rockets that we made entirely from scratch. The rockets fly really well, and their homemade engines are surprisingly powerful. We're going to show you the process of building these rockets step by step, starting with the engine. Oh, by the way, you might know of a similar video made by a certain King of Random with the exact same engine design. His tutorial is great, but we had some trouble getting the engines to work properly just from following the video, so we're going to add a few little tips to our video that should make it a little easier for you. Alright, here are all the materials you'll need. Stump remover, powdered sugar, kitty litter, a 5 inch piece of 3 quarter inch PVC, a drill, a scale, a blender that you don't mind damaging, some fuse, and a wooden dowel. In our case, we're using the head of a giant nail, and that works just as well. All of these materials are super easy to find. The hardest is probably stump remover. You can find that at most hardware stores or you can just buy some online. The first thing you need to do is turn the stump remover and kitty litter into powder. The easiest way to do this is by using a cheap food processor or blender like the one we have, but in a pinch you can just crush it with a hammer or something. Anyway, when blending, it helps if you rotate the blender so that every last particle can get blended. Make sure not to breathe in any of the resulting smoke. Once you've powdered the ingredients, mix 65 grams of stump remover with 35 grams of powdered sugar. Shake up the resulting mixture by hand really, really well. You need the ingredients to be as blended as possible. This stuff just became a lot more dangerous, so be careful. Now that our rocket fuel is ready, we can start constructing the engine. Pour a spoonful of powdered kitty litter into the PVC pipe and insert the wooden dowel. Give it around a dozen hard wax with a hammer to compact the kitty litter as much as possible. It's really important that the clay is packed down hard, or else the engine probably won't work. Make this layer between 3 quarter inch and 1 inch thick. I try to add a little extra because some usually falls out during the next few steps. Now we add the rocket fuel. Add a few spoonfuls of the powder, and then use the dowel to compress it extremely slowly. Once it's packed down, give it a few whacks with the hammer to finish it off. Keep adding fuel until there's about an inch of room left in the tube. Now we add another kitty litter cap. Do the exact same thing we did the first time. Add kitty litter and then whack it with a hammer. The only thing left to do now is drilling the nozzle. The kitty litter can fall apart if you use an electric drill at the beginning, so it's best to do it by hand. Very carefully use a drill bit to carve a hole through the kitty litter. The drill bit should be around 732 inch, but we also use a 316 and a 1 quarter, and both of those work too. Now, use an electric drill to completely hollow out the fuel layer. We do this because it allows all the fuel to burn at once, which is necessary if we want any thrust. Just drill entirely through the white powder, but make sure to stop before getting to the kitty litter. Be super careful when drilling this hole, because even the slightest mistake will cause the rocket to fail. It took around a dozen failed engines before we learned how precise this hole needs to be. And that's it. Just insert a half inch of fuse and you're good to go. Bend the fuse a little to keep it from falling out. When done right, these engines are surprisingly powerful. They're not much good on their own though, since they can't fly straight. Launching one just makes it spin in circles. But don't worry, in our next video, we're going to show you how to build a rocket body, and then these suckers fly. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss our next video. And hey, if you're feeling generous, give us a like. See you next time. I bet you remember Joss? Right. Joss. I forgot your name. She's I was talking to Jocelyn today. That's what I'm saying. Oh, wow. That's totally fun. It's fun! Time for it. <laughs> Spinning works! <laughs>